everybody, what's going on? Kyle Chan here, and welcome back to another Saturday here on Mission Otaku. As you guys know, this week we are creating crazy crossovers, and mine's pretty crazy too. So let's get into the selection. For the fifth anime, I got Naruto Shippuden, and for the 20th manga, I got Bakuman. So how the heck are we going to put these two series together? Good question! Well, we're dealing with lots of issues. The first issue is the time periods. We got the ancient times here and present day. So how are these two going to meet? Easy. There's a jutsu for that. That's right, there's a jutsu that can solve any problem you have. If you guys saw the fourth Naruto Shippuden movie, you would know that there is a jutsu that allows people to travel through time. Of course, at the end of the movie, it's no longer usable, but the fact still remains that there is a jutsu that allows you to do that. So that's how I'm bringing everybody from Naruto into the world of Bakuman. We're also dealing with two totally different societies. So how are we going to solve that? That's pretty easy too. There's an anime for that called Nabari no O. It's pretty much the same concept. Ninja in present day. So that's how we're going to solve those two issues right there. So what would the differences be? Well. There wouldn't be that many differences. First off, everybody in Naruto would still be doing what ninja do. They would go on missions, they would continue to rise up the ranks, they would still have battles amongst each other. So all that stuff would still be happening. It just wouldn't be in the limelight. It would be kind of underground, hidden from the present day society. So that brings up the question, where do these guys come in? Well, this is what I would think of doing. So I would bring in these guys. So as you guys know, the characters of Bakuman are trying to become mangaka. They want to create a manga. So as they're trying to find inspiration, they stumble upon something that happens between Naruto and another group. And they get inspired. They said, hey, why don't we make a manga all about ninja? And that's what they want to do. So they start following them around and they get ideas about how their manga would go and somewhere down the line the bad characters of Naruto discover that their world is going to be revealed and they don't want that to happen so you have people like the Akatsuki like Orochimaru, Kabuto coming after these two guys trying to prevent them from creating this manga at the same time you have Naruto and everyone else trying to protect them so that becomes kind of like a constant side mission that everyone has to deal with. So that is basically what I would do if I was combining these two. Another idea that I had was you could have all of the Naruto characters go to school. So they would be in a school setting. Like a lot of fan fictions are based off of them. They're all in school. And, you know, they meet up with these guys and they're all sharing ideas about how they could create a manga and all kinds of stuff like that would happen. And, of course, you would still have the conflicts and all this other stuff would happen. It would just be insanity all the way around. So, that is pretty much what I would do, or what I think would happen, if these two series actually came together. I, I don't know if that made any sense, but... That's basically what I think. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys have a happy Hanukkah, happy Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, and uh, that's pretty much it for me this week. Tomorrow we're going to find out what our next mission is, and until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!